Less than 12 months ago the M235 I was riding high. Occupying a unique position as a premium hot coupe but with purest appeasing rear wheel drive, it was the right size, more than fast enough and far from silly money. Then the M2 rocked up with its bulging pecs and tore it a new parking space. Even though the m has been transformed into the beefier sounding M240i it is difficult not to be distracted by the idea of something better around the corner, but unlike the leave campaign there is some substance to it. Both the 1 Series and 2 Series receive the latest 3.0-liter 6-cylinder turbocharged Federal, already at work in the 3 Series but more importantly boosting the M240i to 335 bhp and 369 pounds foot at just 1,400 revolutions per minute hardly figures to be sniffed at. There are other mechanical tweaks including automatic throttle blips on downshifts for the manual while the 8-speed auto gets wider ratios and launch control. BMW also claims improved engine smoothness thanks to a vibration damper and better noise via an acoustic shield. Modest improvements, maybe, but they contribute to a classy and intoxicating powertrain. Smooth and responsive at low revs with impressive linearity for a turbo unit, it still gives a higher rev punch. 0 to 62 miles per hour is done in 4.8 seconds, faster with the automatic both quicker than the four-wheel drive Golf R. It might be something of a cliché but giving the front and rear wheels their own jobs to do pays dividends when you start to play. The steering is sharp but not hyper and the rear drive gives plenty of scope for artistic angles of corner entry. There is more than enough power to make things really interesting but when you reach just pressing on it never feels like it has fitted with casters. Add in the delightfully snickety 6-speed manual and ULL almost certainly end up annoying your passengers. Visually the M240i is as before, the M-Performance add-ons helping to disguise the slightly odd 2-series proportions, while the cabin design is the usual BMW slick although the materials are not of the order of bigger models. All this extra including a slight improvement in MPG is via price increase of just £355. At £35,090 for the manual it's £3,000 more than a Golf R, but almost £9,000 less than the M2, which is sold out for the next 12 months anyway. <laughs>